Hello my pinball friends. Uh, so today I'm just going to show you pretty quickly how to hook up two power supplies to my system. To this uh, KLZ 12 position board. This works on all boards but typically what you want to do is hook up like something like a knocker up to here. So I've got two power supplies. I've got a 12 volt power supply that's hooked up directly into the voltage input. And then I also have a 24 volt supply right here. It's coming down the negative terminal of that supply is going into the ground on the input, on the power input. And the positive end of the supply is going into the stripe side of the knocker. So you can see there's the stripe on the diode and there's the knocker there. And then the negative side, negative leads goes into uh, port six on my board. Uh, the other thing that I've done here is on port 6, and you can see each each uh, MOSFET is labeled, so U6 corresponds to port 6 here, and on U6 you see right there I've removed the diode. So each of these boards has a diode built into them to protect the MOSFET uh, for flyback voltage. But if you're connecting two power supplies, then the non-main power supply, so the main power supply in this case is a 12 volt supply because it's plugging in right here. Uh, the 24 volt supply is kind of like the secondary supply. And that one uh, needs to have the diode removed from it. Okay, And you can just cut it off. That's all you need to do. You just have to then make sure that you've got a diode, a flyback diode, on the solenoid itself or else you'll damage the board. The nice part is if you do damage the board it's pretty easy to replace them because you just pull it off and put a new one on. Okay, And then for my other solenoid, this is a 12 volt solenoid, I have it set up and it's connected to port 1. Okay, So that's how you wire it all together. And now if I turn on port 1 you'll see it turns on, everything's fine and dandy and you can see the other power supply is not receiving or not, uh, not pulling any current it's that power supply that's pulling the current. That one's kind of direct hooked up through the board. But if we go to number six, we activate it, okay? You can see it get activated, and you can see that it's pulling about five amps at 24 volts, okay? And uh, again, you can run them independently from each other, and everything is just fine. So you can have two power supplies running at the same time with my board in that way. Another way you can do it and obviously it's it's a little more difficult to do it this way but it does work because you got to do some extra things if you get my expansion boards uh, the new ones uh, the ones with the uh, the 21 positions five of those positions uh, are split up so that you can remove some jumpers from them and run a separate power supply into them it makes it a lot easier to set everything up so uh, so when you do that two of them they're split up into two and three and then the 16. So the 16 channel, you know, you can hook that up to, to 12 volt supply or five volt supply. And then two of the MOSFETs you can hook up to a, uh, you know, whatever, 24 volt supply or 48 volt supply. And then there's three MOSFETs on there also that can be set up with a different supply. So you can kind of separate it out that way. It's kind of nice, makes it a little bit easier to, to wire. But this will work too. So if you just have this board or if you just want to use one of the outputs for something like a knocker, then you can do it pretty easily that way. Okay, hope that was helpful, and uh, hope to see you, see more of you. And thanks for all your comments and your feedback.